So now I'm going to show you uh, the quickest way to fix an iPad, the original version. Um, there's a few videos online that are super long. I'm going to kind of shorten it down for you. Um, the main thing is if you're going to replace the digitizer. Um, the digitizer is just the glass part. There's no LCD underneath. Um, and there's that one ribbon cable right up there at the top that fixes it, or that connects it. Connects it. Um, all around the outside of this frame, there are little clips. Um, right here you can kind of see the little plastic parts that kind of uh, poke into the metal thing to keep it on all intact. Um, I will show you those as I replace it around. Um, the version I have does not have the plastic frame or the home button, so I'll be showing you how to replace those as well. Um, so as far as getting the screen detached from the frame, um, you can kind of see that there's a metal part here, and then there's a rubber part, and then there's the actual screen itself. And when you pry, um, you're going to want to pry between the metal and the rubber, and not the rubber and the screen. Um, I just took a screwdriver um, and then used a guitar pick to kind of separate, um, put a little bit of a gap right in there, and then the screwdriver fits right in. You need to have something, you know, that is substantial. You, hopefully, if you have one that's a little bit thinner than this, but it needs to be able to not bend or give it all when you um, pry it upwards. And the wider the head, like the, the more width it has, the better. So you can kind of see where I'm at right now. You can still see all the little plastic clips all around the edge of the frame. Um, there's a, another clip right here around the outside. It looks like this one actually broke off. Well, didn't need that one anyway. Um, so basically I would just kind of lift it up, spread it open a little bit with the pick, put these little guys in there, and then uh, use the actual screwdriver as my main prying tool. Um, if you did buy the digitizer with the frame around it, you won't need to worry about the old frame. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue opening it up, just prying it up little by little all the way around the outside. I'm not going to lift it completely off yet though, because there's some ribbon cables underneath that I need to detach. But now we have the iPad lifted up a little bit away from the, the screen itself. And we're going to take apart the digitizer cable. And right here is where the digitizer cable comes into the, the main board. And there's this little lip right here at the very end. You have to lift this end of the cable up. I've already done it right here, so you can kind of see that it's up in the upright position. And then once both of those are up, you can just kind of pull the ribbon cable out, and it looks like that. This other one right here has already come apart. So this is for the speaker up top, and this is more of a clip-on, so it's kind of like a Lego piece. This snaps onto this right there. So um, they're pretty solid. They're not that hard to to take off, and they're pretty durable, so they're not going to break very easily either. Just make sure you don't um, put a whole lot of pressure on the upper part of this cable. So now that we have the iPad pulled away from the back casing, um, we are going to release the LED, the LCD from the, the frame. So what I've done is I've, re I've taken out these screws right here. They're little Torx screws, little like the star head screws. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them around the outsides. And now I'm just taking my little pry tool and I'm going between the LED. LCD in the frame and just kind of lifting it up right here all the way around and you can see that it's kind of getting loose. Um, you can heat it up if you want. Um, I'm, just, I'm just going really slow and just lifting it up uh, without the heat. Uh, makes it a little bit simpler. So here we have the old digitizer in frame um, and you can see the glass. I tried to pick it out away from the frame right here at the bottom but it was almost impossible even heating it up with the gun and it still wouldn't do it. Um, so what I had is just the old replacement glass, but it was, seriously would have taken me a couple hours to separate the glass from the frame there. So I ended up just spending the same amount of money and getting a digitizer and attached to the frame already. Um, this one has the home button already installed. All I really need to do is transfer the camera from this digitizer to this one right here, and it'll save a whole lot of time. So buy the frame with the digitizer, and you'll be a much happier person. Okay, so the digitizer in the frame has a piece of plastic that's covering up the top of it, so we're going to take that off and then take the LCD 
that we have gotten all the dust off of and then very quickly just put it right down on top of it. So with the camera, there's a heavy duty tab at the bottom you just got to pull up. Um, and there's some sticky stuff around the lens and the LED. Um, but all you have to do is just take it, make sure that little hole is cleaned out. Um, there's no dust or anything down in there. And then just place the camera back in that slot. Alright, so we got all the screws back in around the outside. We got the front camera um, ribbon cable attached. All the other cables, the digitizer cable is still taped to the front of the screen. So now everything is ready to go. All of my pins, all my uh, brackets are set and ready to rock. All I need to do now is uh, connect the three cables and then uh, press the screen down into place and let it clip in around the outside. There we go. All you really need to do is just uh, line up the right side first. It kind of slips down inside of these little grooves and you just gently press it around this other side and then it uh, evens up perfectly with everything else. Anyway, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.